This will be what we call a breeding herd, females with their young. 22 month gestation period for an elephant. So probably not a coincidence that this old male's on his own here. The old males uh, don't breed right to their dying day. The females breed almost to their dying day and the young males keep coming up and mixing up the gene pool and they're the ones that stick around the females. And these big old males kind of just hang on the outskirts, sometimes just actually break away from the herd itself. Um, and it's the young males that are all going to have the females around them, all the young boys, all the ones in their prime. The hippos just eat grass and they, they graze like a cow, like a buffalo. So now they're kind of getting antsy, getting, getting, getting restless, getting ready to sort of uh, kind of waking up now and during the day, during the heat of the day, they're mostly just, as you see them now, chilling out, conserving their energy, staying out of the heat. it was an impala or something like that but these are all young lions two young females and a young male here we're not actually sure who this guy is we're trying to ID him not 100% sure mm -hmm. which pride he comes from <laughs> Come down to the meat, very upset with baby for dropping it.
This is a big elephant. As elephants go, this male we're looking at here is a big elephant. Nice big tusks on him. And you won't find uh, too many bigger than this guy. I would say 40 or so. They live to about 60. And this guy certainly with the size, the wear and tear on his ears there, the, the, the usage of his tusks, the way they're worn and well used. So I'm probably going to just move us out of the area because the maintenance guys just want to probably fix this pipe now. And with the guys maybe wanting to walk around here, we don't want the elephants getting feisty. These rhinos, these pachyderms as they refer to these thick skinned animals, warthogs and elephants. Um, and remember we were saying uh, heavily dependent on the wallowing, the mud um, and the water. This one is not as hungry. Carnasal shear working overtime there, that turning of the head using the slicing teeth, that carnasal shear as it's called, as it makes it a carnival, slicing, tearing. So maybe just now they didn't actually see them and maybe they picked up the scent and now they're like, what's happening here? Maybe there's some 
food to sort of, or some scraps to pick up. Nose down, and once it's on a scent, incredible scent of swell. As a clan, they can hunt anything right up to a buffalo, if it's injured, especially. Um, but here, with so much predatory activity, they often just scavenge because there's that much predatory activity. Um, so they, they, they've mastered that art of just letting everything else do the work. And then, um, and then they come in afterwards. These guys are always active in the rain, after rain, before rain, maybe even moving to higher ground or something um, to get away from the rain, but we always see them in and around the rains. And it's a clear sign that um, rain's on the way when you see the tortoises. <laughs> you know how much ground he can cover, eh? Oh, yeah.